Making sense of fractions, numerators and denominators. Hello there! Today, we're going to embark on a fascinating journey, as we unravel the secret language of fractions. Fractions are an essential part of the English language, used to describe parts of a whole. They're all around us, in our everyday lives, and they're also a foundational concept in math. Now, the heart of understanding fractions lies in two key elements, known as the numerator and the denominator. So, let's dive in and see what they're all about. When we talk about fractions, we're actually talking about two separate numbers, divided by a line. For example, take the fraction 3 quarters. This fraction is made up of two parts. The top number is called the numerator, and the bottom number is called the denominator. So, in our example, 3 is the numerator, and 4 is the denominator. The numerator is simply the number on top of the line in a fraction. But it's not just any number, it represents the part of the whole that we are focusing on. So, if we have a pizza cut into 8 equal slices, and we eat three of them, then the numerator of the fraction representing the pizza we've eaten would be three. It's important to remember, the numerator tells us about the part we are dealing with in a certain situation. Now, let's move on to the denominator, the number at the bottom of the fraction. The denominator is a very important component because it tells us into how many equal parts the whole is divided. Returning to our pizza example, since our pizza was divided into 8 equal slices, the denominator would be 8. So, the fraction of pizza we ate would be represented as 3 eighths. The denominator gives us the information about the total parts the whole has been divided into. Understanding how the numerator and denominator work together is essential to grasp fractions. In a fraction, the numerator and denominator have a unique relationship. The numerator tells us how many parts we have, while the denominator tells us the total number of equal parts the whole is divided into. In the example 3 quarters, we can say that we have 3 out of the 4 equal parts. And that wraps up our introduction to numerators and denominators. Remember, Fractions help us describe parts of a whole, and the numerator and denominator play a crucial role in that description. The numerator talks about the part we're focusing on, while the denominator tells us how many equal parts make up the whole. We hope you now have a better understanding of these key elements of fractions. Keep practicing and experimenting with different fractions, and soon you'll become a master at deciphering them. Until next time, Happy learning!